Hello and welcome once again to Sports Vision, the magazine show. I'm Joe Palo. To my left, my co-host and former friend, Mike Cragen. Nice teeth there. Super glue. Billy Bob. We'll explain later, but I can't get him out. We will explain that later. Yeah, it has something guy. to do with Louie, and I tell you, I'm prepared if that Louie comes. Uh, we don't know. Help with never could, I'll help you with those. Yeah. Listen, we got lots of action. First thing I want to say, my happy birthday to my father, C.W. Wayne Cragen. Going to be, I won't tell you what he's going to be, Love birthday tomorrow name. on Friday. We got, hey, Josh Hare was uh, three, three A all state here this week. Made all state he's team. A man. I'll action. And we also have some baseball, some bowling. We've got BMX. And let's get right into it. Hey. Here is the BMX All action. Right. In the lead over Look the super, that. number four, Brad Devaney. Reminds me a lot of and me. And second is Kendra Swafford. Third is Mark Rivley. In his first race, making a real respectable show, and is Zach Plumley. At the line, it's Casey Davis, Zach Plumley, and Taylor Fennell. Five thirty-eight. Chancellor Croy in the lead, followed by Ryan Adams on bike five forty-one. All right, we've got eleven-year-old novice on the gate man. Ryan Adams taking the lead in the ten-year-old novice race. Oh, and he's down in the corner, giving it back to Chancellor Croy. Over the super, eleven-year-old novice is rider one fourteen. Again, reminds me a lot of me. Little buddy Hunter Randolph. All right, we got Everybody a dog too. crowd out there right now. This is 13 year old intermediates on the track. I gotta have find a dentist, bro, buddy. This looks like 13, Matthew Smith in the lead. Hey. Sponsored by Dingo Cycles. Soon to have a challenge. 13, you are coming through the rhythm That's what I'm section. thinking. We need a challenge there. Looks we like could do it. Rider two, Look Christopher at that. Durham from Bentley Dies in second. Folks, if you haven't seen this, you need to go out Rider there. Robbie Walker is third. Behind the 1314 field. A little road there. Looks like you shouldn't be there. A beautiful BMX. All right, track. it's rider number 13, sponsored by Dingo Cycles. And 71 is Jonathan Wilson, sponsored by Spin Dog Cycles. Coming Those over the kids super can fly. in the lead is Jonathan Wilson. Set Lots place. of bike control Brandon there. Rider, apparently Joseph Bernard. Have to have. Professional pressure washing is his sponsor. 71, Jonathan Wilson coming through the rhythms. Looks like a lot of fun. Notice the handling. Oh, Pushing those front wheels down. There is a skill to this. It looks okay, simple. Right, it's good job, John. Carried out of the finish. Like you would know. He's an immediate rider. Here. Unbelievable. You ever ridden one? It is rider 611, Andy Coker. 544 Jonathan Smith. 81 is Bobby Marshall. 537 is Charles Nelson. By then I'll have mine back, I hope. Rider 611 is Andy Coker. Running in the lead through the rhythm section. Talk me into this. Second place is Charles Nelson. Looks like that may be the winner right there in the red. And at the line. Showing out a little bit is Andy Coker. I'm Hunter Randolph. I'm Ryan Adams. And I'm Hunter Randolph. And you are the Sports Vision. And here we have the results of the BMX in the five and under. The winner was first place Taylor Fennell. And in the novice, seven years old, first place Kyle Enriquez. Nine year novice winner was first place Jake Simcoe. And Terry Van Dyke grabs a nine year immediate. 10 novice, Ryan Adams, he won after taking that spill. Great job for a comeback. 12 novice, Davey Holt, first place. 13 novice, it was James Lobb. And in the 13 intermediate, first place went to Matthew Smith. 19 to 27, they're getting closer to my age. Jonathan Wilson yeah. took first place. On the left side. 19 to 27, novice, Andy Coker. And 1927 intermediate, Anthony Manis. 28 and over expert, that 28 and over Fitz Joe with the teeth, he can knock a few of those out. John Davis was your winner. Well, and you guys, 28 and over could be your kid. Yeah, uh, uh, not quite my ah. kid. Y it's a good thing hey, you don't. You got a carrot? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to take a look at some bowling. They had the 39th annual championship tournament presented by the Cleveland Bowling Association. That came on here this last week. We covered it. Here's the tape.
Here's some of the action. The winner was Blinds Girls, by the way. Second place was the D Team. Third place, Egg Allen, four dudes. Fourth place was Honeywell, five, the Village Lanes, three. Sixth, Maytag Truck Drivers. Seventh was the Strike Zone. Eighth was the Friday Night Crew. And ninth, Nitro. And uh, wiping up the rear was you're up, and evidently they weren't that day. But these are, look at these guys. Every one of these guys is going to throw a strike. They remind me of my mother. Excellent bowlers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But uh, there it is. The 39th Annual Championship Tournament Cleveland Bowling Association Team Championship with Brian's Girls. And there you have all the uh, participants on that team. What's up, Doc? Uh, of course, brought to you by Superior Sporting Goods. High School Tennis, Cleveland Lady Raiders, single winners. There you have all the singles winners. And then, of course, the double winners. There they are. And in high school tennis for the Cleveland Blue Raiders, the only uh, winner for the boys was Bob Suttles, but he was out there. He made it happen for them. Back on to some high school soccer, the Blue Raiders 6, the Hicks and Wildcats 0. And we are to the 7th and 8th grade soccer, Cleveland again, 6, True at 2. Help me with things, Mike. Ooh. Now, Ooh. Hey, listen. We're back. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with some more action right after this. Miss Kissington and I always rock with Sports Vision on WTMV, baby. Yeah. I guess I'll sit in the front of the tube again tonight. I'd love to take the family out. I just can't afford it before payday. Bring them to my place. I'm having some friends over to grill out. How can you afford that before payday? Every day is payday at Check Advance of Tennessee. It's easy. Just write them a check. You get paid today. They'll hold your check till next payday. I just called Check Advance of Tennessee. Tomorrow night, the party's at my house. The employees of Duracell's three area facilities would like to give hearty congratulations to our three area high schools for excellence in academics and athletics. Charleston High School, Cleveland High School, and Bradley Central High School. Keep up the good work, students. We are proud of you. From your local Duracell facilities, Mouse Creek, Tasso, and the Corporate Distribution Center and Warehouse. At Duracell, our people are our energy. There's a bank in Bradley County that's made up of familiar faces. One that offers a wide array of services and the latest technology while providing an unusually high degree of personal attention. A bank that's consistently been ranked among the very best in the nation. One that isn't just a branch of some mega bank, but's locally owned. A bank that understands our community and takes the time to get to know its customers. Who is this bank? Bank of Cleveland, of course. It's the way banking should be. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Mm, we're back. Let's try to clean out, out real quick. Right. Now. They're not coming out. They're not coming out. They're not coming out. For those of you that just tuned in, we went undercover. This Louie had the police officer in. We got threatened over the air. We've been trying to figure out what's going on there. We went undercover to check that out. We're going to show you here a little bit. His teeth are stuck. We're trying to take care of it. Hey, we're also going to say real quickly, uh, Papa Moore, Becky Gray's Papa, out there at the uh, ballpark. I bet Papa Moore could take his teeth, huh? Yeah, he probably could. Papa Moore actually fell down, broke his hip. Get well watched to pop Papa Moore. And speaking of baseball, we're going right into it. We had some action this week. There it is. It's Cleveland and Bradley. This is ninth grade. And uh, Cleveland and Bradley going at it here. One of the few sports they can team up against each other in. That's right. That's right. And Baseball. Baseball. And there's a good shot. I believe this guy's going to get on base. We're going to have a guy come around to score. And no, oh, yes, he is. There he is. He makes it in for Bradley. And you're Sports Vision on WTNB. Baseball, baseball, baseball. It's that time of year. All the time the baseball. We've got some more. We've got Bradley versus Truett in the 7th and 8th grade action. And here we go. This is Bradley at the bat. And... Try to pick the guy off here at first. Got about 30 seconds of action at this game. Had to take it through the screen. We're gonna have to find us a better vantage point on that. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, we, we have to set the camera up high. Uh, Bradley ends up winning this game eight to two, and they beat McMinn Central 12 to two on the very next evening. So this was Tuesday night's action, Wednesday night's action. They end up beating McMinn Central and doing very well, the Bradley Bears seventh and eighth grade team. 
What a great there field it is. has to play on. Huh? We have some high school baseball results for you. Cleveland all over Polk County, 13 to nothing. Brandon Kofer pitched a no-hitter, and here we are with Bradley in Adamsville in the Courier Classic. Bradley wins that thing, 11 to 5 high school action. And here we have again Bradley 12 to nothing in that Courier Classic. Chris Davis, a three-hit shutout. In Lexington. And here we go with some more high school baseball in the ninth grade. It was Bradley 14, or Cleveland 14, Bradley 4, as we showed you a little bit ago. And there's some more ninth grade baseball action. Cleveland 5, Ray County 3. And here we go again, high school baseball. Cleveland 13, Truett 3. Ninth grade action. And in the seventh and eighth, Cleveland 3 to 1 over Meigs County. And in the second game, Cleveland 9. Makes County zero. High school baseball. Again, all this superior sports scoreboard for you. Action Cleveland four, Ray County nothing. Brandon Kofer, his second no hitter. No hitter. Man, Unbelievable. What a pitcher. And here we are, high school the other night, 11 to 1 over Ray County. Sarah MacArthur gave up only two hits. That was Cleveland softball. Here we are with Truett, all over Sweetwater, 18 to 7 in junior high softball. Amy Pendergrass with two singles and a double. We're coming back. We're back to us. And what about that action? We've got some great baseball action. And we are now going to go to another commercial break. I don't know what we're going to do about your teeth. We're going to get them out. We You're going to help me. You help me get them in. Try to get them out. You look better that way, Billy Bob. Yeah, that's what I nice thought. Teeth. It is really the big change for what you had before. Yeah. We will be right back. Stay with us. It's your surf, baby. Yeah. You're watching Sports Vision, baby. On Kids are our most valuable asset. That's why Cleveland Bank and Trust sponsors educational programs, including Lesson Line, a home-to-classroom telephone service to promote better communication between teachers, parents, and students. We also take great pride in our long-standing best partnership with Cleveland Middle School, making a positive difference for our children and our community. Cleveland Bank and Trust is part of your life all day, every day. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Quality Machining Services, located in Cleveland, services our local industries and businesses. Quality Machining employs skilled craftsmen. That is the key to Quality Machining's operation. Get your plant back up and running as quickly as possible with Quality Machining Services. You can count on quality because quality counts. Phone 472-0140. Wash away your blues today at Appliance Factory Warehouse. Now is the time to take advantage of the best selection of Whirlpool washers and dryers ever. Whirlpool appliances, known for great quality, are priced to go at Appliance Factory Warehouse. Come in today and see the new energy-efficient Whirlpool product line. Ask about special financing designed to fit your needs. Appliance Factory Warehouse, where the time saving, money saving, sanity saving store. People from all walks of life have discovered that Check into Cash offers a simple solution to one of life's most difficult situations. It happens when an unexpected expense arises and it's just before payday. At Check into Cash, you write us a personal check and you get the cash you need instantly. We'll hold your check up to 14 days. You can be in and out within minutes. The next time you need quick cash for whatever reason, go to Check into Cash. It's quick, easy, and confidential. Call toll-free 1-877-262-CASH for a Check into Cash store near you. And I work on those teeth. Louie, if you come, I'm ready. Hey, and how about our, buddy, ready. our good buddy, bite him. our good buddy, Austin Powers, better known as the Michael Myers. How about that? Man of International Man, we've got him to do some bumps for us. He is going to maybe be a special guest on the show That'd coming nice. up. A couple quick scores of interest. We've got to go to our Athlete of the Week in just a second, but we, Bradley lost tonight, four, last night, 4-3 to three on Wednesday night uh, after claiming the Savannah Courier Classic last week. And the Bradley girls beat Cleveland last night 2 to nothing. 
Charleston beat. How can you read that? Yeah, it's my writing. Charleston beat the snot out of Tennessee Temple, 17 to six. Travis Stratton three for three, two home runs and five RBIs. And I do believe we also had Charleston beating Sequoia seven to four, and in Loudon in the Loudon Invitational, Loudon and they also beat Loudon or Loudon beat them six to three. Runners up at Charleston. And talk about baseball. Brandon Kofrick has anybody besides maybe me or you that could throw. Two back to back no hitters. Nothing. Athlete of the week. Let's take Maybe a look Rick at this. Honeycutt, but I doubt him. Hey, we're here at Cleveland Raider Field, and we're going to give the Check in the Cash Athlete of the Week. We like to thank Check in the Cash for sponsoring this for us. Uh, Alan Jones and uh, Steve Scoggins, our good friends over there. And we also like to thank, thank uh, Cooper's Trophies and Plaques, are the ones that provide the trophies. Standing beside me is Brandon Kofer of the Cleveland Raiders. He's a senior on the Raider Ball Club. Brandon's done uh, something that uh, hasn't been done for many, many years, probably in Cleveland baseball. And uh, the only one I can think of is uh, Johnny Vandermeer back in from the 40s, I believe, with the Major League Baseball. He has pitched two no-hitters against Polk County and against Ray County. Brandon, that's an outstanding job, but you kind of got things going early in the year. Oh, yeah. We pitched first game of the season here against McCauley. Really didn't do good here at home, so when we got on the road, I just wanted to go out and prove that I was a good pitcher this year and just do the best that I could. Well, back-to-back -back no-hitters, I think I think that's a lot of proof right there that you really are a good pitcher. How long have you been playing baseball, Brandon? Well, I started when I was five at Hopewell and then went to industrial for a year and then started to middle school and playing ever since. And uh, is it, has you done anything different or are you just kind of reaching your peak here, finding your stride as a pitcher, or have you, have you always had this kind of success? Well, I've, I've always been, you know, a pretty good pitcher and all, and then this year it's just, it's all came together. Well, that's really outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it right, back-to-back -back no hitters, Brandon Kofer, the Cleveland Raiders. Uh, what else can you say? That, if that doesn't deserve the Athlete of the Week, I don't know what does. So our check in the cash Athlete of the Week and our Cooper's Trophies plaque, Sports Vision plaque, goes to Brandon Kofer. Brandon, congratulations. Here's your plaque. Here's your hat, Sports Vision. Congratulations. Thank you, Sports Vision, for making me Athlete of the Week. And thank you, Brandon. Outstanding job. Keep up the good work. No problem. Thanks. Hey, great job, Brandon Cover. Speaking of Louie, we went looking for him. We did look for Take him. Take a look at this. It's going to work, nah, Mike. It's going to work. I'll tell you, you get me Put into that more trouble. You get me into more hey, trouble. Hey, Mike, who's going to mess with us here, huh? Put back in heat, buddy. Yeah, Ain't, nobody, loaded? Ain't nobody gonna mess with us, pal. Listen. We're packing heat. We're problem. stopping here. This is where the biker was keeping the pool. Straighten that. We gotta talk people too. We gotta change our voices. Oh, we're to gonna we'll talk to hey, let me tell you what we're gonna do. We'll go in here, we'll get all the information we need. We'll get the guys they ain't gonna recognize us like this. We'll get well, all the You still look like Joe to me. Nah, do I really? What about me? The what do I look like? Am I okay? You look like Michael. Is my voice changing, am I getting things? That's, that's good. That's right. good. That's okay, a good well, listen, thing. Let's go in. We'll go in. We make sure he knows who you know who we're looking for. Get the get the voice on. Get the get in character. Get in character. You know what I'm saying? We go in here. We find whatever we can. I'll tell you what, if he doesn't play the game just right, I can I can I can sweeten the pot a little bit. What you, you don't worry that, about that. Where did that money? You told don't me that was a loan for something else. Yeah, don't worry about that. Fix your mustache. I want my money back when it's Fix your mustache. Okay, okay, let's go. You ready? Get it on. Get the character. All right. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Okay, now what's the minute? We gotta have names. We gotta have names. Uh, I'm uh, fixing myself. I'm gonna be Salvatore Rocco and I'll be Vinny. Vinny, Vinny uh, um, lasagna. Vinny lasagna. Vinny lasagna. Well, that's Italian. That's Italian. All right, let's go. You gotta fix. It. Let's go. All right. Hey, buddy. Listen, uh, we're looking for this guy named Louis. You know anybody here? You know any Louis around town here? No, I don't know any Louis. Do I know you two? Hey. Hey, boy of mine, you don't need to worry who we are, huh? No. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I got one, too. Hey, all right. I know Louie. I know Ben. I like Ben. You like Ben? I like Ben. Ben Franklin, if you got that. Yeah. All right, all right. I think he's wanting you to spend some of the money. Now, don't give it all away. Yeah, man, yeah, man, Louie, Louie. You know, I think there's a Louie that's, that's located downtown Cleveland, I think. You think maybe, so? Huh? You seem to have come in here before. There's a possibility. I'm not certain. Maybe yeah. for one more of this guy here. Yeah. Well, is that, is that helping your memory just a little bit there, pal? Actually, guys, I don't know Louie at all. You don't know Louie, huh? But I do appreciate the $400. Oh, we're gonna find out what this Louie guy is. about, I don't know this guy either. I don't know what we're gonna do, Joe. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. We're gonna hit you to like this. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I don't know. 
Yeah. Oh, we got uh, We got to find him. Really. He's a joke. You know who that is? We got to get out of here, Joe. Some guy that's the guy. Some 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 guy. We'll talk to you later, pal, all right? Thanks for the info. See you guys. We'll talk to you. Talk to you later. Okay. All right. Hey. Talk. Uh, no, you don't know. I know who you, you don't know who we are. Hey, we'll see you guys later. Hey, thanks. Thanks, pal. What's your name, buddy? Call me Axel. Call you Axel. Axel Rockwell. Axel Rockwell. That's, a, that's an interesting name. I absolutely. Yeah. Place they can stick around for a while. Uh, Cleveland's a nice, like I said, Cleveland's a nice place. There's a few shady characters here in town, but uh, like those two that just left, but uh, good place to hang out. Yeah, I ran into a couple of those guys, rubbernecks like that, that me on game pool last week. If I find them, they're going to get them. People like that, you just need to break their neck. That'll happen. There you go. All right, I don't know what else to do, Joe. We checked out the fitness factory. Checking out for Kirk. No Louie. No Louie there. No Louie in here. No Louie here. You know, I don't know what we're going to do. There's uh, no I Louie down at the town house where we shot full. I tell you what, I thought we were trouble that big oh, guy. Oh, that big guy came in. I know. It scared me. Oh, we got out of there just in the nick of time, too. I tell you, I don't know what we're going to do. All right, Let's look. go talk to the mayor. Oh. Do we know who we are? Who? The, the mayor? Yeah. He wouldn't know who we are. Your own mother's not going to know who you are. I can't get my teeth out, Mike. We'll just leave me in. We'll be all right. Let's huh? Who's I that? can't leave these in front. Who's that? Who's that? Hey, that's her. That's, that's, her. that's my mother. What are we going to do? She's, she's going to go exactly her. What's the bowling alley? I thought she didn't bowl yeah, she for 15 minutes. I don't know. She's just probably coming by to visit. Look, huh? look at it. What? She made a fool out of you. She's probably just looking over the place. Hello, ma ma'am. How, are How you? you doing, ma'am? Do I know you guys? No, you don't know us. You don't know us. You don't you don't know us. Do I know you guys? No, you you don't know us, ma'am. You don't know us. Okay. You uh, you coming in here to bowl? Yeah, I bowl every day. You bowl every day? Oh yeah, but keep that quiet. Because my son and I we took a guy for some money. Yeah, I bet you did. Have a nice day, lady. He bowls every day, she said. You think I would say that? every like day. Ah, oh, Joe. She didn't bowl. Call me stupid something. Joe, sometimes you are stupid. Bowl every day, she said. Come on, we gotta get going. We gotta find this Louie guy or we're both bowl. gonna be dead and stupid. Let's go. Every day she bowls. Let's she go. Said. Let's go. She doesn't bowl every day. Can't believe my own mother didn't even know me. I told you she wasn't doing anything. She lost my mustache. She doesn't work. The teeth, the, the crap. Right. No, we the get away with anything. We can. That's what I'm telling you. This is. That's why I said we go into cover. Nobody's gonna know. I can't believe this is working this good. Nobody's gonna ever, ever know. know that we did that. No, you know, we're kind of like, kind of like the Blues Brothers. You know, you and me. We are. We go on a go, do You know. You're right. She's that lady over there. That's my wife. She's a, I see, she recognizes, but she does. That's, that's, that's not your that's wife. That's my wife. That's my wife. That's my wife. You ain't gonna recognize me, Mike. You ain't gonna recognize me. Hey, honey. Hey, how you doing, honey? Honey. Get your hands off me. 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 I told you. See, these are good disguises, Joe. She doesn't know you. These are good disguises. You heard of a guy named Louie? Anybody on here named Louie? The new guy in town. Louie. Louie. The new guy in town. new guy in town named Louie? No, Louie. Yeah. Right. We're trying to locate one of you. Here. You talk to somebody that knows us, okay? I appreciate that, Pally. Thank you. It's a good guy, then. Hey, Mike, can you get your teeth out? Yeah. I'll fix it. Pull them out. I can't mine out. Get him out. I Come can't on. get him out. Why? Get him out for you. Joe. Did you put what super you glue in yours like you No, you're supposed to put the putty that comes in. You put super glue. Totally super glue. It's putty, Joe. Can't I tell you what, out. I have to go to a dentist. You got you to gotta tape tomorrow. I can't. Put in the show tomorrow. You're going to do them with the teeth, I guess. I can't have these Come teeth on. in. I can't get them oh. out. Let's ask this girl. She knows who we are. Come on. Ma'am. Mm. 
guy named Louie that's uh, maybe around town here? We're looking for this Louis? guy in town, supposed to be a tough guy. A guy named Louie made a threat on, my, uh, on a friend of mine's life. Yeah. I don't know if you know who he is. No, Louie? He was threatening to kill a good friend of mine. Yeah. Are those legal no, documents Louis. there? Hmm. No, Louie's paper in there. What about no Louie? Okay. Yeah. No, Louie? All right. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. That's a nice lady. That's a very nice lady. She didn't know Louie either. She didn't slap me like my wife did. My wife uh, she didn't know who you are. Grabbing her like you didn't. Can't do that. Hey, are you Kathy? I'm Kathy. Kathy, this is uh, me. I'm Vinny. I'm, I'm, I'm Sal. This is my friend Sal. We're here to see the mayor. Salvatore. Salvatore, Salvatore Rocco. I'm Vinny. Yeah, act like you don't know who I am. Hey. Is the mayor in here? He's the mayor knows we're coming. He's expecting us. And even if he did, we're going to see him in. Yeah. You know what I'm telling you? We know him as TR. He's upstairs. Yeah, we'll go see him. Hey, if you haven't heard of him, I've seen him, the new guy in Springfield in town. Uh, supposed to be kind of a tough guy. He threatened a friend of mine. His name is yeah. Louie. You know any Louie? No, no, no Louie. Louis. Oh, okay. Show uh, Mike. Keep the pillow there, it covers up the heat right back. I know. You know what I'm saying? I understand this. We don't want anybody to see the heat. Do I need any help here? Got a heat, we're packing heat in the municipal building. You know what I'm talking about, huh? Well, this is Mayor Rollins or something. Mayor Ray Roland. Roland. You know, Roland, Roland, Roland. All right, I know. Yeah. I know. Don't be singing. Something like that, all right? Don't be singing to me. Mayor. Mayor. My name is Vinny. It's Vinny. 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 No, 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 that wouldn't, that wouldn't be. No, no, think of his no name. that wouldn't be us at all. Well, uh, that was not. A of mine, though, that would be uh, not us at all. Guy on a local television station there, he's been threatened. He's a friend of mine. Oh yeah. And uh, we uh, filed a report here with your police department. Want to know where you're at? What you got? Oh, we, but I know about that. Sure, you know about that? On that. that no, what that, I that done, ain't I've, I've been made aware of this situation, this threat. First yeah. of all, we don't take it lightly. No, of course not. Uh, this. Palo Palo, what was his name? Uh, Palo Palo. Palo, yeah. He's a friend of ours. Uh, he, oh, he answers to almost anything. Well, yeah. the thing about it is, he's a citizen of this community. Yeah. I've been on the phone this morning with FBI Director Free. I said, we need every resource you've got. I talked to TVI Director Larry Wallace in Nashville. I said, we need everything you've got to help us with. I talked to District Attorney General Jerry Estes. Yeah, Jerry's I, a good man. I, I said, he's a good man. I said, let's don't leave any stone unturned. Yeah. We've got to find who's making these threats. There you because go. Because if it happens to one, it's going to happen to all of them. There you go. And, and. That's what we're thinking. Yeah. That's why yeah. we come here. We've been talking to some of the same people we want. Maybe, so, maybe yeah. we know we uh, got good hands here. Over sure. There. Well, it's, I'm saying. It's a, or not. We know that uh, Joe is in good shape. That's what I'm. Oh, that's Joe, what I was. Yeah, but your friend, friend, friend Joe. Yeah, right. Right. And I know you can't disclose contracts for private investigators and yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, we can't talk about. No, it. you can't talk no, about no, that. No, it's against the law. But uh, rule. you guys uh, from around here somewhere? Oh no, no, no. We, we're from. I'm, we're from the old country. Oh, right. old, older country. Oh, Kentucky. Yeah, a little older than yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm glad to meet you. And, yeah. And I want you to know that my door is always open. Well, see, that's what, that's what we know. That's what. Here's the plan. If that guy named Louie ever does come out, we strike We're first. We're going to get him. Strike We're first. Offensive. Strike first. Offensive. That's the way we got to think. Hey, thank Here you we for... Hey guys, we had a great show there. There's a guy named Louie. He's coming in the door. No, he can't. You didn't let him in. Yeah.